Aral's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Haral may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Spraying like a horny pup. Dear lord, man. Alright, find Sig and speak to Sigurd. You there! If you wish to have words, come closer. I... I don't. You started talking to me. Wait, can I actually talk to him? I don't want to stab you. Can I... There we go. Are you one of Harald's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Harald take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Haftan the Black. Well, welcome to Thornburg, warrior. Well, that was a civil interaction with an occupying force. So, Survey the areas. Uh, he's pro he's probably inside the longhouse or around there. I want to go see Gun Guna first, I so I can like see if I can enhance my gear. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital? Hello, old friend. How can I help? Let's see what you can do. Can you enhance my gear? No, I need a, a different mat material. Okay. So, yep. All materials I have not found yet. Do you need anything else? Nope. I will free you from this bond. And I will be ready when you need me. First, they will demand taxes. And soon after, they will be living in our homes. Keep your voice down, they will hear you. Fine by me, if those backgrounds come. It's Eivor. Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The Wash will never... Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harald's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Shut this riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Okay, so... We got two options. Take the resources, or leave them here. Now... The resources can help us in England, which is probably going to be a hard, a hard start anyway. But if we take them, it could piss off Harold, and we don't want him chasing us across the ocean. You know what? To be safe. If you object, I understand. 
Let your father keep Chadvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Okay, I think we'll speak to Sigurd at the... Okay, so, wait, he's at the docks, so... Is there anything else that we need to do around here? No? Cleared out the area pretty good? Okay, so... Let's see. The Seas of Fate. Right, let's uh, check our inventory. Let's put that on. And thankfully it won't be seen. Is there a way to actually show? Yeah, there is. Not doing that, though. Wait, what new shield did I get? Or new, new weapon, I guess. Oh, the flail, that's right. Let's go talk to Sigurd and get out of here. I think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital. Who would he? He would take his pleasure and move on, you Moon Knight magpie, leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. All right, Sigurd. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure, as is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Stirbjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is, Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths, Wolf kissed? They would tell you how they offered us insults. And how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a fair guilt is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name, known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No. I'll not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor, and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. 
Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart, but I am glad you'll leave this place alive. was almost trouble. Oh, this way. Oh, he's in command of the ship. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hoog. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! <laughs> mighty fart. lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land. Lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Hor Valhalla! England or Valhalla? Uh-oh. To England! Hey, it's Layla. She looks a bit older. Love to see her, though. of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, see you, Sean. you would improve citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. I haven't seen him since the end of <sighs> Syndicate, I think. Same with Rebecca, actually. Is Rebecca with you? How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Okay, well they found Ivor's grave. Good they found her. You're a long way from home, Ivor. Hmm. It's right here. 
here, there's the, uh... God, it's always got this orange twinge. Wow. Look at that. Anything over here? Would love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. All right, back inside we go. Did you get my tea? It is Rebecca! Some quality stuff here. Oof, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. <laughs> I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so <laughs> depends what you mean by good, really. Yeah. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Well, hold on. I want to see if I, I can talk to you two. Go cool. for it. That's quite nice. Soothing. Use laptop. Let's have a look. What do we got? Message the messengers. Isu messenger one. Oh, these are just emails. Okay. Oh, whoa. That's Thoth. Oh, these are the Egyptian hieroglyph messages from um, Origin, Staff of Eden. Secure shares. Pictures. What's this? <laughs> Just taking random pictures of everybody. Wow. Look at that. Media. Strange message. <laughs> Is broadcast from an unknown source north of the Arctic Circle. The message was broadcast nine days for nine days, then ceased. Spectrum analysis of the message revealed the coordinates of, to a Norse grave site in New England. Oh my God! No, no, come on, Sean, turn that thing off. Oh, hold on. I like what you said there. I want to get this for posterity. Say it again, nice and loud. Uh, seriously? Sure, come on. If nothing else, it'll give me leverage with your old man. Ah, that's your angle. Nice. <sighs> what I said was, I wish I hadn't been born into the Assassins. I wish I had chosen this life. Is that good enough? Sure, but why is that? Because, because choice is the central idea of our creed. It underpins everything, right? It's about free will. It's about seeing the evidence before you and saying, yes, this is what I want, or no, this isn't for me. But when you're born into a group like this, or any other, like I was, you get mixed signals. You get told over and over again, this is what we believe. These are the rules. This is reality. No deviation. And if you question it, oh, they look at you like you, like you killed a puppy. Oof. That's hardly free will. It's a weird irony when free will is your central belief, but nobody wants you to believe otherwise. I don't know how to say it exactly, but I always thought there was something self-destructive about our creed. If free will is the most important moral guidepost we have, 
we should be free to ignore it. To choose submission, for example. You know what I mean? Like, we should be free to side with the Templars. If it's really my choice, I could do that. Right. It's almost self-refuting. A democracy could democratically elect a dictator or choose to get rid of democracy altogether. Within our creed is the seed of its own destruction. That's what makes it powerful, I think. And fragile. Right, right. The more freedom you have, the more risky it is, you know? Anyway, my dad has mellowed over the years, but he was strict when we lived on the farm. He ran a tight ship. I never got the impression that I was free to choose my path forward. Our creed, our tenets, they were drilled into my head. By the time I was a teenager, I was following these rules out of a sense of duty. This was just what we did. That happens to a lot of organizations over time. The stagnation sets in, you know? The fundamentalism. Yeah. Following the rules becomes more important than achieving whatever goal you set out for yourself. And people start to lose sight of the reason the rules exist. That's called deontology, or a form of it. Following a rule for its own sake and not for the consequences it has. Yeah, but that feels backwards, doesn't it? Well, I think so. Following a rule is the easy part. Praying, taking a sip of wine, lunching on a wafer. Rituals that give comfort. But that's just going through the motions. It makes people feel like... like they're doing something. Right. And the hard work is... well, actually getting off your ass and doing something productive. I think people just want boundaries. Tight boundaries. They want to see the four walls that pen them in. I don't disagree. Anything outside that? Anything that makes life more complex? That's scary. That's why I envy you. You chose this life. You went through that process and you decided, yes, I believe in this. Sure. It didn't stop me from being an insufferable know-it-all as a teenager, but <laughs> I see your point. I would have loved to have been a know-it-all. I knew nothing. Not until you guys found me. Yeah. It wasn't until I met you and Bex and Lucy that I knew. I knew I wanted to be an assassin. Oh, thanks, Des. Come here. Bring it in, bud. I don't normally like touching, but I'll make an exception now. I am not hugging you. You sure? Because I smell very nice today. <laughs> you just turn that off. December 19th, 2012. That's before Desmond died. Or it might be the same day. I can't remember. But oh my god. And he's right about that. And it reminds me quite quite a lot of certain uh, political groups and religions. But um, I went through hell to bring you yeah. here. It had better be worth it. How you doing, Beck? Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds. Fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense. Noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Missed you, Rebecca. Glad you recovered from that injury you got. What's on the fridge? Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Was this an Airbnb? Are you gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Okay, interesting. Uh, what's up here? Sean has been busy. Oh, he's been collecting the audio fragments. Okay. Hello, Layla. You okay? Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. 
Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Oh. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team, maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years... Oh, God. ...then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. All right. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar. And tattoo it on my leg. Huh. End of the animus. Back in we go. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. And will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. But well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. This is Seeker, gorgeous. Do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. For they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them. Get the lay of the land. And carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. 
It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? <laughs> Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever He's strangeness right. we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer. Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off. It would. It has on many occasions and will continue to do so. What am I focusing on? Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It <laughs> must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Technically, a baptism is basically ritual drowning. Point two, stop the boats. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Did he just call himself a blunt instrument and me a weapon of precision? <laughs> So there's a way in there, one dude there, two over there. Thirteen arrows, so we're good. The gods here are vigilant. won't escape I wonder why I won't escape because I don't intend to I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play cat and mouse with you. Alright. Where'd he go? Over here? Wait, what did that say? River bl uh, chain blockade, okay. This chain is huge. And poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. Silver. The there we go. Is clear. Coming all along, brother. James away. Hey, boy. Back to the boat. We should be close now. Barring any more surprises. Time work, Abel. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. 
Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. <laughs> A man of symbol pleasures, aren't you, Dak? Happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Re remade! We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last! To find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There is too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. Well, at least we know Sigurd is a very intelligent man. Glad to have him with us. Well, this doesn't seem correct. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, as they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a young. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Very much. Dark, On me. Okay. this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, Hagen. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norse men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Hey! All right, let's kill them. Let's finish them. We got slingers. Ah, damn it! You have what you wished for. It feels like a complete fruit butter. Jesus! I'm really hating that. Take it. Take out the skirmishers. The blood is finished. Your weapons. None of that. None of that. They've all got something to loot. Right for you. Dead. We almost got cleared him up. Ah, Jesus. Right, there's one down here. Okay. 
okay? Prices. Right. I will check the longhouse. <laughs> All right, up we go. There's the longhouse right there. Two people inside, looks like. Wait! Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men are prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli, I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I read their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Hastan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me, but it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I thought it was an attack, but that's good. I have a good feeling about this place. Our family, friends, welcome to your new home. Well, we've got a new home. Lovely place. Built it Fine up fast. Work. A long house to rival any I've seen. 
Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor? Sigurd? I give you England, and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the Sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. Hmm. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Okay. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Our home. New home. Awesome throne. Let us actually do out these skills first. Um, there was something down here I wanted to get. Sprint attack. Hive assassination damage. Ability damage. Heavy damage. Okay, oh, we've got six points, so we can do this. Okay, so... What is this? Backstab. Guided arrow. Chain assassination. Can we work our way through to this? We can try. Wait, what's this? Adrenaline upgrade. And what's all the way up here? Weigh the bear. Heavy resistance. Alright, so let's let's uh try to work it. You know, no, let's extend into this uh, red tree a little bit more. this dual swap don't really see a use for that oh wait there was something else wasn't there quests oh just the new one well welcome home everybody I think when we return is when we're going to go talk to uh, to Gunnar. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button to help me out. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time with more Assassin's Creed Valhalla.